man, there is definitely something over there. Guys, I'm going to do this real quick. I got to get out of here, man. This is freaking me out. So we are here at our display shop and I wanted to walk you guys through what we do when we come out and install our fall netting. So here on our middle pond, you can see we've already got our support hoops, which go over the entire width of the pond in two different spots. We do that because we want this netting supported, okay? Damn it. it sounds like somebody's out here with me. It's just you guys. I don't know, I heard something over there. Weird. So anyway, so what we do, once the netting is pulled over the top of these, we go around and we use these little small anchor pins, similar to what you would use uh, to hold down landscape fabric. You just kind of roll it up, keep things nice and neat around the edges. And this way, you anchor that in. On top here, the leaves will kind of rest a little bit. So what we do, we come around every morning on our display here, we blow off the top and then all the leaves shake down to the bottom. Man, there is definitely something. There's something over there. I feel like something's watching me. All right, well, I'm going to do this kind of quick, guys. Sorry for the uh, change here, but there's definitely something. All right, I'm getting a feeling. I don't know. I don't know. Really like I got to get out of here. Hey, guys. Uh, Drew here with Atlantis's maintenance department, and I just wanted to kind of walk you through what a typical maintenance visit to one of our customers looks like and what we kind of have to do what we check during the fall now on top you can see we already have our protective uh, fall netting up and supported over the pond what this does it keeps all of the debris that's starting to fall from these deciduous trees out of the pond along the edge here you can see exactly what supporting the net is doing all of the leaf debris falls down to the bottom and then we can take our leaf blower blow that away from the pond so it's not going in by the looks of this pond it is crystal clear and not filled up with an excessive amount of organic debris so what we do first we just kind of have to pull back our netting and then open up our skimmer lid and then wow all of this small debris is actually in our skimmer basket collected here for easy removal so our first thing that we do we we pull the basket out and then we're going to dispose of this stuff so it's not sitting clogging up our pump or restricting flow through the basket to the pump next step we're going to actually pull out that pre-filter mat that sits just under the basket but over the pump this has really got a lot of goop and stuff in it so what we're going to do we're going to scrape off most of it we're going to dispose of it just like the stuff that was in our basket then we're going to take this over to the hose on the driveway flush this out this is just a pre-filter for the pump which sits in the skimmer below so this doesn't really hold or um, it doesn't hold any of the necessary bacteria like the pads up at the top so we are going to 
actually vacuum out all of that stuff here in the bottom to make sure that our pump is not gonna get clogged and it's gonna have unrestricted flow up to our biofalls up there. Now we do all of this maintenance before winter comes along and then we'll come back. We actually take our netting down because we don't want the weight of ice and snow to kind of compress this down and sink it into the water, which could be frozen at that point and tangle itself in and rip the net because we try to use this uh, finer gauge, heavy duty net, you know, for a few seasons. So we'll come back probably around the Thanksgiving time. We shut down our pond. We're going to shut down the pump, disconnect the check valve, flush all the water out, clean our filter material, drop in a bubbler, and then this pond is basically going to be going dormant for the months of winter, which could be from November to March, you know, depending upon Mother Nature. But this is just, again, a typical visit during fall on a pond that's already been netted. But you can still see there is debris that is smaller than uh, the holes in the net. So we want to make sure, again, that the pump's not clogged. And then this stuff is just not sitting decomposing in the system. So we're going to flush this all out, make it nice and clean, protect our pump from getting clogged and having to overwork itself. So let's get to it. This is going to be a little muddy. emptied our basket we pulled out all of the debris which made its way past the basket onto this filter pad we also cleaned out this filter pad and now it's time to put it back in the skimmer put our basket back in and then open up the weird door to allow the skimmer to do what it's supposed to do so we're gonna put this back in just kind of fits nicely right around where the check valve is and then this basket this is one of the best upgrades to these skimmers it's got an easy to remove basket it sits right on these two little clips the weird door locks in so we're able to service this and work in a dry environment now our water is flowing back into the skimmer and back up to the top of the waterfall so now we've got the pre-filter mat in we've got our basket in so i'm just going to put the lid right back over the top of the skimmer and then i can pull my netting back and keep it nice and taut the way we had originally installed it. So these stakes just go back into the ground and then I'm gonna stake one down right in front of you here. And then last but not least here, we're gonna go around and just blow away some of the debris that's made its way onto the net, roll down to the side, get that away from the pond so any gust of wind and stuff isn't going to blow all this fine stuff which may make its way through the net into the pond clogging up that skimmer again so just a quick little leaf blow around the edge of the pond keeps all this debris away from the netting from weighing it down and also just keeps this whole whole area looking nice and clean. Yeah. 